Thank you. And one more question. Um, in a remote area, say, what would be, I mean, I know we're taught to use an LED light to, to get CO2 GANs versus zinc GANs in the, basically the same making process. Um, any additional thoughts on how to get CO2 instead of zinc if, say, you don't have an LED available? Um, what oh, you are mean the to produce, to produce uh, ganses? Yeah. Okay, just, just connect it to a different piece of metal than the two. If you have a wire copper coming from the uh, copper plate, and you have a copper wire coming from the zinc plate, one is nano-coated and the other one, just get a piece of aluminium and connect it to the aluminium, the two wires from the two plates. You need to create a balancing that anything over is used, then you get a constant. When you produce um, CO2 with a LED, for example, you produce a specific type of GANs. You have dictated the condition. The same as when you connect it to a motor now, um, the GANs, even you still produce CO2, but it's uh, tuned to the level of the motor. When you do it with LED, it's down to the level of the LED power consumption. Anything above is dissipated, because below it, it doesn't move. So, anything, so you put a filter, these, these connections you add. If you connect one to another, directly, you don't do anything, because you are actually using the plates and matter state for it, and you have no control in such a way of you doing the filtering. Just use a third element, that in between the two, uh, can dissipate the energy, and you create a specific energy, CO2s. Mm, beautiful, so that, a little piece of... I something little... you can do, get yourself a, a piece of wood, take the skin off, and connect it to that. You produce totally different GANs. Wow. You produce GANs of CO2, this is what you have in the nature. That's mm -hmm. then you produce a GANs at the level of the vegetation, which is...